Okay, so now that all the tracks are in my live set, we're going to discuss how we go about organizing these. I have here in my Finder, I've created a folder. Inside the folder, I have a folder called Tracks. And then I effectively have Playlist here. I put that in the side of Live's browser so that it's easily accessible. And then what happens is when I drag in a warped clip, it has the Ableton Live clip that it references. But then the actual tracks are going to be contained within samples and imported. These are the actual WAV or MP3 files. The Ableton Live clip is just the information that Ableton stores to reference the warp markers and any other information Live needs to play back the file. So we've collected and saved all the information into the Live set here. But then what happens is once we drag them into a playlist, the track is then going to be located with inside of the playlist itself. And then once we have processed all the tracks in the queue, we can just delete this live set and then the data subsequently will be deleted. Therefore, we won't have copies of the data. So you're going to start at the top and you're just going to start warping these and dragging them each into the appropriate playlist. 